Hey everyone, Nick Kenji here. Welcome to my channel. If you are a content creator like me, a videographer, photographer, an artist, or just a creator in general, you would understand the importance of having the right tools for your work. When I first began my photography journey, I didn't have all the right tools. And to be honest, I still don't have all of the tools today, but as I got more into my creative bag, I ended up realizing the need to be more efficient and also the need for convenience. Having the right tools, I know they can be very helpful for certain situations when the going gets tough. With that said, today I'm going to be showing you a few convenient gadgets that will make your life easier and more productive when it comes to creating content. So let's get right into it. First up, the Insta360 tripod. This has been the most convenient tripod I have ever owned for iPhones or even any small camera that you have. It could be a GoPro, it could be the DJI Osmo, things like that. This tripod has proven itself in a number of ways. Now, the first thing I love about it is how quick it is the setup, all right? All you have to do is just press this button at the bottom and then you pull out fully to whatever height you need it to be. And then you just set it down just like that. With a good amount of tripods, I know that there's quite a few steps that you need to do in order to assemble it, such as, you know, tightening screws or opening a few latches, things like that. What I like about this is really just an easy push pull type of thing and you can go about your business. So yes, I love the setup. I love how easy it is to break out, do what you gotta do, put it in your bag. Which brings me to the second thing I love about this, which is the portability. This tripod is super compact. It fits in most bags. It actually fits in my little fanny pack that I got from Uniqlo and I was able to fit so many other things in there as well. It's honestly just a very convenient thing to bring around. It also doesn't weigh a lot either. When it comes to the tripod, what I like to attach to it are these two items right here. This right here is a swivel mount. Basically what it does is once you attach it onto here, whatever you decide to mount on it, such as a phone, it could be your camera, things like that, you are able to rotate it, swivel, basically put it at the angle that you desire. And unfortunately with just this alone, you are unable to do that. If you decide to just connect your tripod mount, you will only be able to have it in that position and that position only. I have learned <laughs> my lesson and it wasn't even me it was my brother he asked me if he can use my tripod i didn't have this at the time and he didn't know that it doesn't change angles and it doesn't swivel so he actually ended up breaking this by accident <laughs> he broke the actual um iphone mount unfortunately because he he was trying to force it down definitely do not recommend that swivel here you just attach it very easily and then whatever you decide to attach on the top for me it's mostly my phone or my dji osmo 3 camera i would put this on there. I will mention that the Manfrotto iPhone mount is pretty awesome. I just love that it's simple. There's just not much to it. I know there's a few that have different types of things on it. I just like how small it is and portable. So it has two screws where you're able to do portrait and landscape shots as well. So I tend to attach this onto this and do what I gotta do. Next up are these memory card readers from Apple. I have two of them. One that goes straight to the lightning port and the the other that goes to USB-C port. I have recently upgraded to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So this is the one that I'll mainly be using because <laughs> it also works with my iPad Pro. These are super convenient. Let's say you're traveling and you only have your phone and your camera when it comes to your equipment. And let's say you wanted to transfer photos and videos you took from your camera to your phone. So this will be one of those ways, quick and easy way to do so. Basically, all you have to do is connect it and you go to the Photos app to import all of the content that you created. You can also go to the files folder and see your content there as well. If you wanted to, you could transfer photos and videos from your phone to the memory card as well, which is pretty cool. If you have a friend that has a professional camera and took some photos of you and you wanted those photos, this will be a great way to get them. Definitely something I'd recommend. Next up is this iExpand SanDisk flash drive. I love this thing. I couldn't tell you the amount of times I would run out of storage on my phone because of all the photos and videos that I would acquire 
on my trips and just my day-to-day -day activities. This right here has helped me greatly in regulating those photos in a way that makes it more manageable and I don't have to run into storage full and those type of situations until I have access to a computer where I can you know, transfer everything accordingly. In a lot of ways, this works similar to the memory card reader. Think of this more like an actual USB where you use it to store information. It has a USB end and it has a lightning end. The lightning end would connect to your phone and you would transfer whatever files or photos, videos, things like that onto here using the files folder on your iPhone. Turn it around and you got the USB end that you can connect to your computer and have access to all that information that you transferred onto there from your phone and vice versa. I think this is uh, really cool and convenient to have. So you're able to just store whatever information you need to that might be taking up a lot of space on your phone and just always have access to it. There is also an app that you can use with this. It's called iExpand. It has more of a user-friendly interface where you're able to see all your photos in a gallery. You can transfer your files onto here in that particular way as well. So you, you have options, which is great. For me personally, I prefer to use the files folder that way I I can transfer different types of files. It's not limited to just photos and video. I'm just more familiar with the files folder because I use that for a lot of different things as well. And not only that, I don't wanna have to download another app. I have so many apps on my phone, almost 200. I think I can do without another app. I will say also that they do have this for USB-C and not just Lightning. So you can use it for your phone or Android models that use USB-C. And of course, if you have a laptop that uses USB-C. For me, since I I already have this and I don't want to spend more money. You can also get this adapter that is USB-A to USB-C. You can connect it right into your phone or your computer and use it that way. One thing I realized is that if you're gonna use it this way, you cannot use it with the app, unfortunately. It won't recognize it, but you can use it with the files folder, which like I said, works for me. So we have this dual mount by Ulanzi. So I actually love to use this. It's just so useful, okay? What I love about it is it literally just has two shoe mounts. A lot of the times on your cameras, you are attaching a mic, maybe attaching a phone, a video light, things like that. For this, you are able to attach two items to make it more convenient for you with your camera. The one shoe that would go on your camera and then I could use this maybe for my phone and then I could use this for my microphone or I could use this for a video light and I could use this for my microphone. Those are the situations I like to use it for. Not always necessary, but definitely super handy in cases where you just don't wanna have to hold something and hold your camera at the same time. It's just too much. Definitely one of my favorite gadgets. I honestly believe this gadget shines most in times where you are working alone. Of course, if you had other hands to help you hold a video light or hold a phone, then you're good. But if it's really just you alone and you want to make as much of an impact as possible with the gear that you have, I definitely say this can help you in that regard. So definitely one of my favorite gadgets. Last but not least is this video RGB light. I absolutely love this light. It is more powerful than the iPhone 15 Pro Max flashlight. I wouldn't be carrying around if, if, if it wasn't. So this is a very powerful light and it just works so well in low light conditions. I used it actually for my birthday recently, I had my camera out and I wanted a video at nighttime. And of course, flashlight wasn't really doing it for me on the phone. So I had my cousin <laughs> hold this up and capture some footage of me, which was super cute. What I love about this as well is that it has different features. You can, of course, brighten the light. You can dim the light. You can also change the temperature of the lights. So you can make it warm or cold. You could change the colors, being that it is an RGB light. So it does turn to red, green, blue, and it even has a light mode called fireworks where it shows different colors as well, which is pretty dope. And very similar to the TikTok mode, the TikTok party mode as well where you're you show different colors i think there's just a lot of ways you can be creative with this which i love another great thing about it is you can mount it onto your tripod it does have two screws here so you can 
mount it this way, portrait or mounted landscape. You can also mount it with a shoe mount right here, which is pretty dope. Um, I'm actually just noticing that now. Wow. You also do not have to connect it to an outlet or anything like that. Uh, it's fully portable and rechargeable as well. So I find this as a great item to have. It fits in your purse. Those times where you need an extra amount of light at night, you're at a party, things like that. You want to be able to get the type of content that you need, but you just don't have a good amount of light this will really help. It will also help those people who are trying to be more creative with their videos. Being that it is an RGB light, you can add color from different spots. I mean, I'm using it right now. And honestly, I'm I'm thinking, wow, I I should have used it for this video. <laughs> this, is, this is giving studio. This is giving professional. Here is a side-by-side -side look on how the iPhone flashlight compares to the video light. As you can see, the video light just packs a punch. It is super powerful compared to the iPhone flashlight. It doesn't take up space in your purse. Easy to carry around. It really sets the mood. It sets the mood and it sets it right. So that is it. That is all that I have for you today. If you are looking for more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. I am all for convenience and efficiency like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So I have a good amount of gadgets that I like to go for and I'm still looking for more to make my life easier and if there are any that you know of to make my life easier <laughs> please drop them down below let's help each other out I already understand creating in general can be time consuming and there's just so much that goes into it anything that can really make our lives easier I'm all for it I also want to mention that I have an Amazon storefront so all of the gadgets that I mentioned in this video will be linked there and the link is located in the description box below check them out check out the details see if they work for you because they definitely work for me. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your week and take care. Bye.